kids today we are going to learn another new chapter of microsoft excel so if you are new to this video please refer our previous video and learn the basics of microsoft excel if you haven't subscribed my channel yet you can click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified on new updates of ICT tutorials let's get started then so you can see what I have created on the screen today we are going to learn how to create a table by using the basic tools of Microsoft Excel so my dear kids I created this table to store the marks of my students in grade 11 in the top of the table, I have mentioned a heading, student marks. In the next row, I have mentioned the grade as grade level. In my class, I have 10 students, so I selected the first names of them. In front of that, I have mentioned the marks for ICT, Max, Science, English and History. And you can see the last two rows are for the total and the average. Okay, so let's get started. First, I will get a new sheet to do my table. As you have referred my previous video, by now you know how to get a new worksheet to my workbook. I am going to rename my sheet as grade level. So, I will right click on the sheet tab and click rename and now i'm going to type grade 11 here so now here see i have started my table from the third column and the third row as well as that look at this very carefully my first row is merged as one single cell so that it will be very easy for me to write the heading okay to do this we are going to select the first cell, then I am going to select 6 more cells forward. Alright, now to make all these 7 cells into one single cell, you can click this merge and center option. So now you can see the middle lines has been erased and this has become one single cell. Now see in my example, I have do the same thing for the second row too. I will select the same again, then merge and center. So, this is the first method my kids and there is another method too. As the second option, you can select both rows together. And from here, you can click this drop down arrow near the merge and center option. After that, we can select merge across. So, you can select any easy method you prefer. So, now let's type the heading for both rows like this. Now I will select the cell, then I can align it into center, so that we can bring the text into middle. So with these font styles and font sizes, you can adjust your text. I'm going to add a border to make my table more visible to read. So, let's select the cells we need and from this border option, we can give all borders. So, 
So, with the other options, you can change the four corners of the cell border. Now let's complete the rest. Here see, I have three separate columns under these two rows. One for the student ID, next for the name, and the last one is for the marks. Alright, so we need three columns and ten rows down. Let's select the first column and ten rows down like this. And at the same time, I will add a border to. Next column also the same. One column and 10 rows down. And now let's do the final part. But here you can see in my example, I have merged each column heading vertically. So let's select both cells at once and let's give merge and center. And then I will type the name here. Then the next heading comes like this. At last I will merge the first row cell horizontally. Now this cell will be for the heading. That means for the marks. I will name both like this. Now this is not much harder if you practice them well. Let's merge the final cells for the total and the average. I will select all cells like this. Then directly I am going to give merge across. Now we have done it previously. Alright, so let's fill out our data like this. To move into the next cell, you can easily hit the arrow keys from your keyboard. I will copy the rest from my previous sample. When you paste, use the paste option from the home tab. Otherwise, you will get all the editings in your previous sample too. Let's put the colors for each of our column like this. First, select the cell you need. Then click the shading button from here. Now see, it's there on your home tab. Now I will select and let's select my colors like this. So, like this. I will fill the rest. Now you can see two more cells are remaining. So there are some special methods to calculate these cells 
without using the calculator. So, we will be learning them in our next video. That means next week. Until that, I will copy and paste it from my sample table. Alright, I'm done. So, this is how it looks at the end. Hope you learned some basic editing which you can use when creating a table. So, see you with the next video soon. Thank you very much.